Welcome back, everybody, to your first, second, and yes, now your third stimulus check update. The relief package, the CARES package, EIDL, PPP 2.0, and all the executive orders. It is February the 15th. It is Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you are starting out your week fantastic. There has been new changes to the PPP program to get funds out faster and eliminate a lot of those errors. So if you're stuck in a delay, you're going to want to hear this information. Come on and get your news. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edward Builder. To all my little subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you're joining us for the first time today, welcome. Remember to do your part, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you think we're doing a great job, smash the like button. Make it change colors so that we can help the YouTube algorithm move this message to other people. Congratulations are in order to everybody who is celebrating first round draws of PPP1 and PPP2. Much funding. Exactly, oh, about $100 billion worth, maybe $101 billion worth of funding has been allocated to 1.2 million applications. That is awesome news, okay? Awesome news to everybody who is celebrating. But I know a lot of, many of you are still frustrated because there's been a lot of delays this second round. First round, CARES Act days, you were able to get your funding within three days, and suddenly that has stopped. We've got your information as to what that is, what is causing all those delays and errors. We're going to talk a little background on that. We're going to talk what is changing, and we're going to tell you what you can do to get the process moving again. Come on, and let's get into the details. Okay, let's get into the background here just for a moment. But before we do, if you guys haven't yet applied for PPP program, uh, go check out these videos right here. There is an application process that'll walk you step by step through the through the overall application process. And then there's also like videos for Bluevine that'll kind of walk you through step by step of the Bluevine process. And this is for if you're joining us for the first time and you're like a gig worker, sole proprietor, independent contractor, somebody out there like managing your own money, Uber Lyft drivers, Instacart workers, etc. Right? This program is pretty great because it offers forgivable loans for up to two and a half times of your monthly salary. So you're gonna to wanna to know how to get this done because it's free money. It turns into free money ultimately. So follow the links and it'll give you all the all the one-on-ones and uh, give you some tips on what you can do to avoid delays, okay? All right, so let's get into the background here. Now the PPP program has been a fantastic program. Uh, during CARES Act round, one's day, round one days, this was fast. I mean, you could like apply within three business days, see $20,000 show up in your bank. So this offered forgivable business loans per employee up to like 20K for two and a half months of average pay. Now, because it was so, because it was so easy and loose of a program, it was subject to a lot of fraud. I mean, it was subject to so much fraud. People were faking all of their all of their uh, uh, documentation and uh, basically taking like $4 million and going out and buying all kinds of Lamborghinis. Pretty stupid because they all got caught. But uh, <laughs> but uh, don't, don't be one of those people that went out and bought the Lamborghini. I hope you were smart about it and maybe invested, right? You can check out in the description, Weeble and M1 Finance. Uh, they're offering so many great programs right now where Weeble will give you up to four free stocks valued at $3,000 when you deposit $100. And M1 Finance wants to give you a $30 sign-on bonus just for signing up with a $100 deposit. It's pretty awesome stuff. You can check it out in the description. Now, because round two, right? Round one had so much fraud. Round two, the SPA said, eh, we, we got we to apply more regulation this time, right? They're like, <laughs> they're like we, we got to do something different here, Congress. So, you know, in the next bill and in the next act, right in that we could apply more regulation to the program. So that happened, right? And anytime you apply more regulation, it basically triggers a second step verification. So now the banks, right? The banks will take in all your information at first. And remember, they were set up. They were set up in CARES Act times, right? So they're set up to take in all this information, verify you, and then just send it over to the SBA in which, boom, it gets approved, right? Well, now it's like they're set up in the CARES Act way to now it's the new relief package and the second step verification is asking for more information and where they ask for more information and so they're being fed by 5,000 banks right so far they've approved like 1.2 million applications and there's millions more sitting there in the queue right so it triggered this middle operation basically the SBA would say you're missing this form or you're missing this bit of bit of piece of the puzzle they would go back to the lender and they say hey lender go ask your go ask your customer this information and then your lender would come and ask you for the information and then you get it back to the lender and then they get it back to the SBA. Well, guess what? The SBA, they've already moved on. They've pushed you to the side. Okay. The minute they triggered that, the minute they trigger that second step asking for more information, you went to a bucket on the side where it's like, you're, you're forgotten about because I have a million more applications coming in. All right. 
So in some cases, the lender even canceled your application due to this delinquent delay of information flowing, right? If it, if it held for so long at the SBA, some lenders were just like, uh, I got to cancel and deny this based on the SBA's not responding, right? Which was good because it actually forced you to go out and apply for it again a second time. If you're, if you're following these videos, apply a second time, right? If you're denied based on time delay, get out there and apply again because you still do qualify. It's basically that the SBA was in this middle operation, back and forth, back and forth, and they just pushed you to the side. But there is a silver lining and we're gonna talk about that next. Okay, let's get into what is now changing, okay? Because the banks spoke up for us and they're on our side this time, okay? <laughs> Pretty cool. They wrote a letter to the SBA and they said, hey, look, SBA, you certified us all as lenders. That means we went through much training for this whole, this whole process to be smooth and efficient, right? It shouldn't have to take this long. And even worse, you just need to tell us up front what exactly we need to ask the borrower so that we're not constantly going back to them and saying, nope, we need this new information. We need this new information, <laughs> right? And so we wanna basically send you the applications, only the applications, for you to give it that old bam, stamp of approval, okay? <laughs> so the SBA came back and they said, you know what? You're right, <laughs> you're absolutely right. Because we are super overwhelmed with the 1.2 million applications that we processed so far. And we're doing this twice. You're doing it once on your end, we're doing it a second time on our end, and then there's all that middle traffic and it's really clogging up the process. And so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to allow you to certify, as we said originally, you are now gonna certify and you're just gonna send us the vetted information, the application only, so we could smack that with an approved sign. And then if we need more information downstream, you the lender, as we agreed, you'll hold the information and we're gonna audit it just in case we need it downstream. I mean, that's the way it was set up in the beginning. <laughs> so now the application process will be certified by the lenders, lenders like Bluevine, lenders like Lendio, uh, even the big banks, right? It's gonna eliminate that two-step verification process. Okay, let's talk about what you can do as the borrower to uh, make sure you don't get stuck in this delay, all right? The first thing you could do is comment down below, okay? Let us know your frustrations and let us know where you're stuck because it also enters you to being the giveaway. If this video right here hits 10,000 views, I'm picking one lucky comment from a subscriber down below and I'm sending a $100 stimulus check your way. And when I hit my 10,000th subscriber, I just gave away $500 like two weeks ago and I'm gonna do it again on my 10,000th subscriber. I'm picking a random comment from down below and I'm sending $500 out to a lucky subscriber. All right, so let's talk. What are the three things you could do? Well, first you could reach out to your lender, right? And this is if you've been waiting. This is if you've been waiting for like, you're stalled for greater than a week. If you're if you're past seven days and you haven't seen anything change and it still says like stuck in review with the SBA, reach out to your lender. You're gonna to wanna to ask them two things. You're gonna to wanna to, you're going to say, hey, am I stuck in this two, in this two-step verification process? Just be straight with them, right? And they may, they may know the answer and they may not know the answer. You might get somebody that's new on the phone and they may not know it. Or you might be asked to be directed to a tech Who's, who can give you that information, go get yourself directed to a tech, somebody that's like a tier two, and say, hey, am I stuck in this process? And they're gonna be straight with you and they're gonna say, yes, you're stuck in this process. Ask them if you could reset the application, okay? Say, hey, can I reset my application? I don't wanna have to reapply again, but can you reset it? And basically resend my information to the SBA. So it puts me back in the front of the line, <laughs> right? Because right now you've been pushed aside. And you wanna get back into the queuing process, back in the line. And in this case, if your lender's smart, they'll already self-certify it and they'll just send the application over and not all the rest of the information for the second step verification, right? So ask them if they will reset you, all right? I know Womply will actually send you to a different lender. So like you could apply to multiple lenders and Womply will take you from say, I don't know, Cross River and send you to a different lender and, and just get your process moving again, okay? So these things do happen. Now, the next thing you do yourself, right? Is you yourself can go out and apply somewhere else. Okay, now we know Now we know that the two-step verification is gone and they're just gonna self-certify. That means, yes, you're starting over from scratch, right? You have to resubmit all that information, but you already know what you need to submit, right? You should already have it saved somewhere in a file and just push all that information right into it. That lender will then certify you and send in your fresh application, right? They're gonna send it in fresh and then the SBA is gonna say, oh, fresh one here, brand new one in, stamp that, stamp that seal of approval. The last thing you could do, and this is the hardest one, and probably not the most recommended, okay? Uh, you could just sit back and be patient. 
I know that's the worst. That's the worst advice I've given yet. But you can sit back and be patient. I know it's hard to do that, um, and they will clear up these bugs. Many of the the techs are clearing up these bugs now, and I say it's not recommended because waiting too long can create a moment where you can miss a deadline. Remember, this thing is time sensitive. Uh, once once the end of, once the end of March gets here, it's over, right? And the SBA is going to close down application processes early, right? So you don't want to necessarily wait this time. <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to start acting now. So maybe the first two steps might be a better better option for you. Uh, but uh, if you feel confident and comfortable with your lender and you think that they are taking all the necessary steps, just sit back and be patient. Thank you all for tuning in for another video. Remember to do your part, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Smash the old like button, change that color if you think we're doing a good job here. Uh, join the 800 others tracking play-by-play -play of PPP and EIDL grants on my Instagram. You could find it in the description. Don't follow anybody else in the comments asking you to meet them on Instagram. They're, they're trying to scam you and steal your money. So don't follow any of those comments down below. Don't call any phone numbers that are down there. Uh, just check me out in the description if you want your information. I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.